We will be uh, using the existing battery tray. Um, basically, the way that it works is the off-grid bracket sits in here and you snug it all down together and this keeps it from rubbing on your, your paint down below on the battery platform there. So we'll just leave this in here. All right, so we decided to uh, use tin snips and the battery, you know, the whole battery to tray. cut the battery tray. So we, the off-grid battery tray is a little wider than the stock battery tray, so it requires a little bit of trimming to get it to fit in there perfectly. Okay, so we are wiring the main battery fuse and cable that goes to the switch. Um, this kit uses the stock battery terminals and took us a second to figure out exactly how we were going to do this, but we've angled the busman fuse, we've bolted it on top of the two main factory connectors and have it angled down with the cable hooked on the bottom. And the reason it's like this, one, we're gonna have it facing out and looping around and we're gonna zip tie that along inside the chamber. But uh, one reason for having it like this is we can still put this on and there's a, um, a place for wires to exit out of the side here. So that'll fit, fit right on top of that. Extra protection. Yeah, right on top of that Busman fuse, um, and it looked like it's supposed to be there. So that's the plan. All right, we have the uh, the wires on the bottom of the switch. Um, we have dry fitted everything um, in terms of routing, and so now we're gonna set this in here. You wanna show and, the... Um, we're gonna set this down in here and then um, start to get things snugged up. Okay, so... Um, one of the things we did, we spent a little bit of time trying to come up with the best way to use these terminals. Um, and we decided to put the, uh, the coupler on like this and actually angle the fuse to the inside to kind of keep it away from this area that's um, kind of exposed down to the ground. And um, that seems like it's gonna lay pretty nice. And it gives us plenty of slack up here to run the wire up uh, across the top of the uh, to zip tie it to that other wiring harness up there. The importance of the fuses is definitely if there's any kind of like, if, if the main power lines get grounded um, from some abrasion or an accident or something, the fuses are gonna keep you from having a fire. Okay, I wanna show you guys exactly how we've routed all these wires. Um, so we're, we've got our fuse for the hot side facing down like that. Um, it's gonna go under this plastic cover. This clips on right like that. Our hot wire that's going to the switch is going back around the back of the battery, around the front, over to the switch down here. Our hot on the other side that's going to the auxiliary battery is going up, I'm gonna be zip tied on these different wiring harnesses um, up to this wiring harness across the back and then it'll go all the way down there. Um, the, the negative ground cable that goes from battery to battery will follow that same path except it's gonna go up under behind the fuse box, behind this bracket to here. Um, it's taking that same path under there that our switch leads are taken and I'm just putting the ground behind yeah so we went ahead there's a ground that comes with the switch leads we're attaching that to this ground that's right behind the battery box it's perfect position um, the leads uh, running from the from the MLACR to this inside the switch uh, these leads that to the switch inside the cab we've also put this inside these brackets along the way um, so a few more zip ties and snug everything up, but we're ready to drop the battery in and I wanted to show you guys all this before we got the battery in there. So we're getting pretty close. All right, so this is the stock battery J-hook. Um, at first we thought you needed to take this plastic bracket out and we might have needed to, but uh, just to get the angle we needed, but you can see on this bracket, it's got two little tabs that hold the, keep the J hook from falling down in there. So we had to just push these tabs in and then we were able to push the J hook down to get it out. Um, the kit comes with a longer J hook. Once you have this platform in here, 
and the bracket is a little higher, um, this isn't going to be quite high enough to reach. And the original bracket sits a lot lower. It sits down, angles down below the battery. So we got, um, we got our main battery tied down. We were double checking um, kind of our wire, wire routing and everything is good. Um, we're going to end up putting this guy on at an angle. Um, so this heavy wire here can come around uh, without too hard of a bend. So we got the got everything in all tightened up under the hood. We got the blue C switch right here on the bracket. You can see uh, how these wires are routed around a little bit, which I showed you. Zip tied um, up. Everything zip tied up. Uh, the both the cables running across the back. Um, we have the auxiliary battery in. You can see how the fuse is mounted up there. Let's see here. Both of these, this is this is all nice and hooked up. And if you didn't know the fuse was under there, you wouldn't know it. Yeah, you wouldn't know it. And then that goes right down on there like that. That worked out pretty good. You got your nice polished off-grid engineering battery tie-downs. Uh, you can see how our switch wires run back into the cab. And, uh, and it looks pretty good. Definitely looks good with those two uh, red top Odysseys in there, for sure. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel. And always feel free to leave us any comments or questions that you might have.